You're listening to the Remote Millionaires Podcast, the show for aspiring and established entrepreneurs who want to create and scale six-figure success online without being chained to a job, location, or computer. I'm your host, Tom Gaddis. Let's dive in. Aloha and welcome to the Remote Millionaires Podcast. JT, how's it going, man? Doing awesome. Thanks, Tom, for having me, man. Oh, I'm excited to have you here. It's been great watching some of the success you've been having and the traction you've been getting pretty quickly. Uh, But maybe you could do me a favor and just kind of tell listeners a little bit about your background, uh, maybe a little bit about your work history, how you ended up in this digital, you know, marketing space. And then uh, we'll just go from there. Okay. Well, let's see here. We can start 27 years ago. That is, I've been working as an IT consultant for the last 27 years. I've done everything from installing network systems for Home Depots and Walmarts and all the fun stuff, Fortune 500, Fortune 100, down to mom and pop businesses. I've been doing that for the last 27 years. Um, Two years ago, I had a heart attack. So it kind of woke me up. And uh, the doc says, well, if I'm going to put you on this medicine, there's no more up and down ladders. Can't do that anymore. So it's like, Mm. okay, what do I do? Well, I'm intelligent. I have tools. I'm willing to learn. And I'm I'm humble because uh, it takes humbleness in order to to start this and and work with people and making sure that uh, you get the proper knowledge. And so in that 27 years, I also learned how to do selling kind of have to sell your company in order to to get the jobs that I had. And I worked on different platforms and I became a uh, pro in, in certain platforms. So it's a kind of a key standing and I've worked my way up. I've, I've been the graduate school of hard knocks. I didn't graduate from college. Um, I've learned everything the hard way. And so I'm a quick study, a quick learner. And like I said, I'm humble. So <laughs> that's where, where it's gone. Um, Last year, uh, before I finally closed my company down, I made $154,000 as uh, my general income. So kind of watching that change and transition has been a little difficult. Um, I've had to dip into the old savings to get to the point where I'm at now, but it's starting to come around and I'm looking forward to the future that I have. And well, you know, I have a lot of uh, thanks to you and, and Nick in regards to that. So... I, I got kind of sidetracked in the old shiny syndrome. You know, it's, it's like, oh, let's try this. Let's try that. Let's do this. Let's do yeah. that. And um, I actually came across, came across the online shark um, as the stepping stones that I got to remote um, millionaires. So that's kind of where my direction is headed now. And uh, Nick was the one that actually turned me on to uh, remote millionaires directly. Um, he said, you know, I, I seen the things that you're doing with online sharks. I think you'd be a good fit for what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish. And I said, look, if the bottom line is, is I can get from zero to a hundred and less than the time that it takes normally, I'm all for it. So here I am. I think there's a couple of good things you said there. Like one is, you know, uh, you talked about having a base and some things set up and then making this transition so that you're, you know, uh, you have a little bit of runway and cushion as you're building up and getting going, uh, which I think is so important. Like a lot of times people hear, you know, they may hear my story where, look, I'm on unemployment. I don't have any money. I start an agency. It gets going, which is all well and good. But like, I always tell people, I do not recommend that on like my worst enemy because it was super stressful, right? Like, yeah, yeah, super stressful. So really smart that you, you know, that you, uh, that you had some cushion and you, you did this in a, you know, in an intelligent way to transition from your old career and your new, knowing that, Hey, in the beginning, I'm going to take a hit because I'm used, I'm learning something new, but I can gradually build that up. What services are you offering in your agency right now? Um, I, I have four main ones that I'm actually focusing on. I'm doing SEO, which is kind of what everybody does. I do rep, uh, reputation management, which I'm finding is a good foot in the door for a lot of the small businesses that I've been working with. And I have my AGM that's provided by you guys. And I also um, do video and video production. So, ah, okay. 
Yeah, Great. And now I know you started in the remote learners program like three months ago and you had zero in revenue, right? Oh, and, yeah, literally zero for revenue. Yeah. No. Yeah, and what uh, are you doing now? Uh, well, I just closed a $2,900 deal for uh, a nice little project that I'm working on for. So I went from zero in uh, March and my first landing project was $7,431.14. That was two weeks after I started on the project. Wow. And one of those weeks was actually on vacation. So I didn't count my first week because my first week was, was kind of uh, getting to know the program itself. Then I went on vacation. And so on, on the 22nd of March, I closed my first seven grand project. Then I turned around three days later and I did a $3,200 project. And then I added on an SEO for $250 per month and a, a Google My Profile for $150 setup. And then I went and added a new client on the 4th, no, excuse me, the 9th of April for $259.39, but who's counting? Um, <laughs> Then I did an SEO project, my first one, which was kind of fun to, to get that off the ground. Um, that was for one uh, $800 setup in a $150 per month uh, residual. And that was on the 17th. Then three days later, I did a business video for a client of mine for $500. Then I went and started reputation management um, again. And I did a $500 setup for that $150 per month for the, last, for the next six months. That was on the 25th. Now, this is all in April. So, wow. you know, I figured I was trying to close April out with a $3,000 per month kind of revenue stream coming in. Yep. Because I figured I would meet my expenses and still have some, some cha-ching in the bank. Um, so then just, and then I have to qualify this because this was a tie over for the month. I closed the month officially on my books with a network installation that I had to push because of weather. Um, and that's, that's a whole nother issue, but the, they were putting in a new grounding uh, of the, the network itself and they had to re rewire the grounding and because of weather, they couldn't um, mount the actual grounding rod you know, cause the, the dirt, oh, was yeah. too wet. so it, it's a long history, but I, I closed the month with a $2,300, um, project, but we rolled it over into the second of May for the $2,300 project. And I did a, uh, server installation for $5,300 on the second as well. And then I turned around and closed my $2,945, uh, SEO project. And I'll have residual on that that is uh, $1,100 per month. Um, so I forgot to add that part, but I didn't get that part until yesterday. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, that's that's fantastic. And what's your what's your primary means of finding these clients that you're picking up? Well, my first three clients were actually old clients, IT-based. So what, then by I, the way, which if, if you're listening to this, like whatever business you're in, if you deal with customers of any type, right? Like that's yeah. a great place to start to go to look, to get some quick wins, right? You want to look back through your business connections, your personal connections, and just let people know, Hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm trying to do and uh, see if you can pick up some quick wins. So that that's really smart. Yeah, well, it, it was interesting because that was exactly what happened with the video that uh, I believe it was Nick that actually ran the video on doing, you know, that particular thing. And I said, well, you know, I have a huge list, literally had a list of uh, 3000 past clients. I figured, well, I can go through the, my top clients and see what, you know, what options I can provide them and just see what they wanted. And just by listening, that's the key, listening to what they, they were complaining about, find out what their true hot button was and what they are actually going through as business owners and being a business owner. And you can commiserate. So you actually understand where they're coming from because you have some of the same hot buttons and some of the same issues. And it just so happens that the three that I, I picked, literally one of them wound up being, you know, a, a almost $4,000 project. So 
Oh, that's great. So the first three were from your, your network. How did you find yeah. the others? The other ones, uh, two of which I got, so I'm up to nine clients right now. So two of which I, I, I got from the AGM website. Okay. Which for those of you listening is, um, it's a course we have called agency growth machine. It's a, it's these community based websites that we right. use as a foot in the door way to prospect local businesses. So you picked up two clients from there. That's awesome. I up, yeah. I picked up two clients from there. That was the one, the $800 SEO setup with the 150 per month that was on the, the 17th. And, and then I turned around and I picked up a, the, the management, the reputation management was uh, a dentist that actually was complaining that his, his um, reviews were poor and he wanted to find out how he could strengthen his re reviews. And I asked him, I said, did he have a, an actual email database or a database of his clients with emails that I could actually peruse and, and take advantage of? And he turned around and gave me 700 clients of his that had emails. And so I put them in what they call lead kahuna. Uh, no, rep, rep kahuna, excuse me, not lead kahuna. I have that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. rep kahuna. And um, I, I figured, well, I'm going to start doing emails. And I did two um, versions. I did an A and a B kind of split tested. And the A, I actually got zero from, and B, I actually got three to uh, two, which I still need to follow up on. But the one actually closed and it was for 500 bucks. So, wow. Yeah, it was that's fantastic. So you get referrals from the other people you're talking to. I mean, that's great. Yeah. yeah. What have you, what's been the, what has been kind of the most um, surprising thing about going through the process and the, the things that we have inside remote millionaires. Was there some, was there anything that really surprised you? Like, well, it was either uh, not quite what you expected or it was easier than you expected or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where do I start? Um, first off, following the program step by step by step. And I do mean following it, not trying to cut, not trying to shortcut, not trying to start here and go there. I mean, I went through everything stage by stage by stage. I'm probably one of the rare ducks out there, but that I figure if you have it laid out that way, I'm going to follow it. And the first thing that, that, that came to my attention was I could actually do this. Right. Because you know, I was thinking, well, I've done I did HTML when HTML was still coding and I was using a program called Tika and that's way, way before front page came out. That was way before DreamWorks came out. I mean, a dream, um, Dreamweaver came out. I mean, it was a rather rude, crude and socially unacceptable type of programming. And it was lines and lines and lines of code. And I remember doing that way back when, I mean, we're talking, 20 plus years ago when I was playing with it. So when I saw that I could actually use WordPress and that it was so dropping, literally dropping ready from the very beginning, I said, anybody can really do this if they just put their mind to it. And I literally followed the steps that you guys presented and setting up everything. My hardest part about this whole program is learning go high level. Yeah. And, which, and I think, yeah, which I is think, a software we use in our agency for those of you listening. And it, it's right. very robust. It does a lot of things, but you know, like I kind of, I think, um, uh, I, I think I might've mentioned this to you before. It's like, whenever you have big complicated things like that, they're using in your business, we always find it best to just focus on the parts that we need right now. Right? Like I know as marketers and as people that are interested in that stuff, we want to learn it all and know everything it can do and be able to use it. But like what we found is, you know, when we have complicated, you know, or, an, and it's not that it's really complicated. It just has a lot of features. When you, when you have a tool that has a lot of features, you just want to focus on getting good at the features that can help you immediately right away. Right. And as you build and grow and move out, you'll, you'll eventually learn all that stuff. Cause like with anything, it's a process, right? You're not just going to just uh, kind of spring forth knowing how to do it all. Right. And I found that actually listening to Nick and the steps that Nick pointed out 
and starting with with doing the the carpet cleaning and then turn around and doing the HVAC. Yeah, because you just started running some ads, right? Are you're like running ads on Facebook now to bring in inbound yes. leads? Yes, actually, I am running ads on Facebook. I'm actually running ads on uh, Instagram. Um, I just dropped some money for Yelp of all places. Um, yeah. Figure that's something different that a lot of people aren't aren't taking advantage of, and I figured I'd try it out. So. Yeah, well, it's such a great example of what we talk about in the program about how we gradually scale, right? Like you right. came in, you follow the process, you got some some success right away, you get a little bit of traction. Now we take a little bit of that that money that we've generated from those wins, from those quick things, and we reinvest that into growing even a little more, right? And we just gradually work our way up to a point where, you know, we're scaled to whatever level we want to be at. So that's awesome. Right. So way it worked out is that, you know, in, in week two, you said we had to challenge ourselves in order to get uh, an actual virtual assistant and a web designer or somebody who is going to be part of your, your SEO or your web development work or somebody that's going to be outsourced. And that was my first eye opener because I was trying to do all of this myself. Yeah, I was it's impossible. To be the best SEO you can't do person it. I could be. I was trying to be the best salesperson I could be. I was trying to answer all my emails and on my phone when it was ringing off the hook and so forth and so on. And it's like the the little light bulb went off over my head when he says, "You don't need to do that. You yeah. can outsource everything, practically yeah. everything." Yeah, well, and especially if you do it the way that we show inside the program, where we don't really use any of our own money to build that Rolodex, right? Like we get these people on board, we vet them and we have them and we're basically using our clients' money to fund all of that stuff. So uh, JT, what advice would you tell anyone who who's looking to do what you've done? Maybe they're looking to transition out of their job or they're wanting to get started. Like, what do you think would be one of the, one of the big things they could do to start moving in that direction? The smart thing that I think we've learned or I've learned in regards to remote millionaires is that I don't have to know it all because you're part of a group. And I do mean that as, a, as a, in all honesty, a group of people that have been there, done that, and wore that T-shirt. So it's, it's one of those things that I, if I have a difficult time or an issue, I can either chat with somebody right away or I can throw it to the group and say, hey, what if, or, you know, what about this? I can ask, I can share my announcements, I can share my celebrations. Um, you're part of a grander team than just yourself. And you gave us all the tools. I'm talking all the tools from the scope of work or um, the, the processes, the scope of processes, um, the actual hand-holding, if you will, in some cases. I mean, you literally walked me through doing the, my first contract. I mean, yeah. you know, it was, it was like one of those things that I actually have a contract I can actually use. I was like, it was an epiphany. It was like, amen, hallelujah. And it covered yeah. my behind at the same time. I thought, well, hey, this is, this is golden. I mean, this paid for itself as far as the cost of joining. And it was so worth it. Um, but yeah, just don't be afraid to ask if you don't know something, somebody out there does. I mean, we got, I got Dorn, I got Bill Stanley, I got Corey, who's just new, but he's yeah. doing great. I mean, uh, Jamie, uh, we're all part of the group. Kai has been phenomenal and Sila. Oh man, my, my hands out and, and awesome for Sila because she, she rocks. She's quick to answer. She's always there when I seem to need her. Same way with Kai. So, yeah, my yeah. my hats off for both of those. Those are just my golden my golden nuggets. They're they're my hit my hidden gems. <laughs> I have to tell you, you're gonna have to tell them thank you, thank you, thank you for me because they've they've come through and and it's so worth it. And quite frankly, I wouldn't be doing sixteen thousand seven hundred and forty five dollars and two k per month and from the start without their help and without you and Tom, with you and Nick uh, help either. So yeah, um, it, that's, well, that's man, the one it's, thing I can say with the, with the remote millionaires is that they're there for us. 
Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And it, it's been really awesome to watch you come in right out of the gate, follow the process. And, you know, when you follow the process, you get the results and to see you go from zero revenue to, you know, to 16 K and two K a month, like it's just been really great. I really appreciate you coming on, sharing all the information with us here. Thanks for taking the time to do that. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's, you know, I feel kind of humbled and, and both uh, honored at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. I know listeners are going to get a lot out of what you said, because there's a lot of people out there looking to do exactly what you're doing, right? Transition from their job for whatever reason. I mean, you know, for you, it's health reasons. There's lots of other reasons people want to get out and start doing their own thing. And I think you dropped a lot of really good golden nuggets that people can use to get going in the right direction. And if you're listening to this and you enjoyed those nuggets that JT dropped during the episode, go to wherever you listen to this podcast, leave us a review. We'd really appreciate it. Also, you can find out more about this episode at remotemillionaires.com forward slash podcast. There'll be notes on this episode, uh, any links we think relevant to put there. And uh, JT, thanks again for being here. Thank you for listening. And I will see you next week on another episode of the Remote Millionaire Podcast. Aloha and stay safe, everybody. Hey, if what you've heard today on the Remote Millionaires podcast resonates with you and you want to continue the conversation, then I want to personally invite you to head over to remotemillionaires.com and schedule your free Remote Millionaires business development call. We will analyze your business and show you exactly how to accelerate your results and build a wildly successful business you can run from anywhere. Until next time, Tom Gaddis signing off.